What is happening, y'all? Welcome. I'm back. So, um, I've been thinking a lot about the Supremo. I feel like I don't use my Supremo enough anymore. Uh, a couple of y'all have made the point that I could just run the Medico for the self-revive. I think that might be the smartest bet. Um, I kind of like the movement of the Furioso, but I don't always need that. And I did like this thing and the rockets that lock onto enemies, but I feel like my guns are just more efficient. Uh, this one might be good. We just picked up the, the EMP resolver weapon, so we're going to try that. I don't know what the range on this thing is, but if it's enough to like knock a helicopter out of the air, that could be really good. Regardless, I think we're going to put this guy on for now. That way, if I go down, we get back up. You know, I am playing with it mostly passive, so I think I think that's the right play. Uh, but anyway, let's continue on. I think we're about to wrap up the uh, the Maximus Montazas arc here. We hit Maria's rum factory. We fucked up her billboards, and the bitch didn't even bat a fake eyelash. Meanwhile, Maximus Matanzas is dead, and I'm still stuck in this swamp. We've spilled real blood, Danny, and Marquesa doesn't even have a scratch on her. Fuck this. I'm gonna call out our bullshit right to her face. Marquesa's putting on a PR event, some kind of tour for foreign journalists. If you can get us passes, I'll give her a one-on-one -on -one performance in front of the whole world. Force them to hear the truth. That sounds like fun. Fuck up Marquesa's show. Hey. An airdrop. Words like bullets. Yes, I can. <laughs> Get into our event. Look for the matter. So we're going to the studio to snag. VIP passes, I guess. What is that? I don't know what this area is, but like, I'm really curious. Ow. Screw it. It's just a chest. I'd like chests. Also, I'm not sure what happened with that one episode that sounded crispy as fuck. Uh, a couple of y'all pointed that out. I went back and watched it. Like, I have no idea what would have caused that. But I will say uh, that right around the time I was recording that, at one point, I, like, came back to my PC and I had no sound, no mic. And I was like, what the fuck is going on here? Um... And uh, I did like a Windows thing, and apparently somehow all of my audio drivers just stopped working. So my guess is that was related to whatever made my mic sound uh, deep fried crispy. But anyway, that's obviously fixed now. At least I hope it is. You know, obviously I'm re recording this. I can't hear myself while I'm recording. But if it is deep fried and crispy, I'm kind of fucked. See, that's the thing I like about games that have a manual save, because that way, you know, if something like... You know, if a video fucks up, I can usually go into post and I can edit that. And I can, you know, do whatever updates I have to do to, you know, make make the video watchable, fix it on up. Um, with something that's like that, where the where it's, you know, the mic fucking up in the game. They're holding one of our Garius inside, so free them if you can. I'll do my best. Yeah, when, when something like that happens, there's really, like... I mean, I, I just can't do anything, you know, I can go into the video and post and I can try and make edits, but I mean that that audio is lapped on top of the video, so Where's this chest at? What I need to get back to doing, I used to, uh, every day before I would record, I would do like a quick, you know, 15 second test recording. Just to make sure everything was, you know, good and smooth and wasn't having issues. Probably start doing that again.
it's locked. Hang on. I thought that guy was like just outside. That didn't work out well for you at all. Knife auto headlock on is Ukinopi. Because the EMP would be nice. Um, my understanding is it'll just straight up knock out systems, so. One second here. Let me uh, projectiles lock on fast long fuse. Okay, that's set. Don't have enough gunpowder for anything. Okay. Um, but yeah, I heard that you can just use those and it'll like automatically hey. knock out alarm yeah. systems and everything else. Guerrilla. There's a checkpoint cutting off our supply lines. So like that could be, you know, that could be really nice. Dropping in. I really like the ability to uh, to airdrop and then immediately wingsuit. I feel like the wingsuit is one of the things that that makes me enjoy Far Cry for what it is. You know, just let me let me fly around. Um, so just being able to, you know, pick a location and just boop, instead of having to like, I remember some of the Far Cries, I would, I would specifically, I'd like run, find the highest cliff I could, and then jump from that, and then wingsuit, so definitely a really welcome change. Got a little paranoid when it said Esperanza, because we know they will shoot you out of the sky. Wingsuit or helicopter, doesn't matter. And I... Why oh, cannot? See, and that's that's a time where having the... Uh, having the flamethrower, that could have been good. I could have made that jump. I just need like a build your own Supremo. I want the jump capability of the flamethrower, but with the auto revive. Okay, game, this is this is a little bullshit. I'm gonna have to put it on. Like that. Well, maybe I just keep this thing on until if combat gets heated, I toss on the auto revive. Fuck yeah. This is Talia Benavides from Urban Garden. Coño, it's good enough. Take our stuff so we don't get shot. Let's change these clothes. Wait, aren't you? Silvio Balboa Garden City? Urban Garden? Can we move this along? Maria's waiting. Welcome, welcome, my beautiful foreign friend. Gracias for traveling so far to learn about Viviro, the Castillo administration's private... Listen to Maria's propaganda bullshit. Let us begin. The architecture. 
Impressive. Today, I am honored and excited to share with you the miracle of Eviro, a revolutionary cancer treatment. Thirteen years ago, the brilliant biochemist, Dr. Edgar Reyes, discovered a compound unique to Yara that slows cancer cell growth. But it is Presidente Anton Castillo's full support that allows us to produce this all-natural drug. Come, witness a breakthrough of innovation, generosity, and true Yaren spirit. Follow me. It's possible for the inside tour. You really make the reporter feel special. Anything for you, Nikolai. <laughs> It all starts with Nicotiana Yarana, our native tobacco plant grown in our western farmlands. Our tobacco is world famous for its unique flavor. Wondering what made it so unique, Dr. Reyes studied the plant's properties. And I don't mean he smoked a lot of cigars. <laughs> he found a compound that actually slows cancer cell division, practically to a halt. This way, my lovely people. Ready for the next part of our Viviro adventure? Dr. Reyes found that natural tobacco crops produced a limited amount of the compound. So, President Anton commissioned Yara's best minds to work with Dr. Reyes to design an all-natural fertilizer, PG-240. Spread on, like a hairspray, it uses gene therapy and nutrients to boost production of the compound. If you look, this tobacco has large red leaves. This is from the fertilizer. Beautiful, no? Puro, organico, e exotico. No? Would anyone like to spray the plants? Come, press this button. It is so much fun. Smells like perfume. This is the beginning of the Viviro process. Using McKay to sidestep embargoes was considered quite controversial. Those critics only want to profit from cancer, from death. They see us as a threat, so they try to ruin us. This way, por favor. Okay, closer, closer. Get intimate. <laughs> I want you to hear me. In Central Yara, our finest scientists extract, refine, and package the cancer-fighting tobacco compound called Yarantin. Found only in Yaran tobacco, Dr. Reyes thinks Yarantin is why our cigars are so smooth. <laughs> Delicious and beneficial, no? I smoke one cigar a week and it keeps me skinny and strong. It's true. <laughs> okay, that's the tour. Our interactive stations are now available for you to enjoy. When you are ready, join me by the gate in the outdoor lounge for a surprise guest. Probably gonna be Castillo. There are rumors that farmers exposed to PG-240 are actually developing cancer. Rumors spread by fools and believed by idiots. It's not true. Uh-huh. Right. Essential to killing Yarns. It's like an escort quest. Oh, is, oh, is it Dr. Reyes? We're gonna meet the doctor that makes this shit.
and this ends our tour. But before we go, a surprise. Meet Dr. Edgar Reyes, the pioneer behind Viviro. Dr. Reyes, thank you so much for making an appearance. Ah, muy bien. Okay, everyone. Enjoy the showroom and some of our finest Yaren rum. This is a preview of other Viviro products we are developing. Chewables, nasal sprays, vaginal suppositories. It is a, uh, I say, a sneak peek. So peek, peek away. <laughs> if you have questions, please email my assistant, Julio. <clears throat> Come now, Dr. Reyes. We don't want to be late. Neither do we. Let's get in there. I told Bicho to leave our weapons back here. I hope you're ready to fuck shit up. So what now? Take it as it comes. We got this. Stay on your toes. I think I'm supposed to sneak in? I don't know. Almost bad. Someone go deal with the terrorists. Is it safe? I want an update now. Do oh, don't, don't shoot. I'm just a scientist. They just leave. What about this? Get shooting. True Yarens. Welcome. We have a special program for you today. Maria Puta Marquesa, Minister of Culture, Uncle Anton's personal whore. You're also director to the True Yarn Academy, no? Where you fry people's brains to make sure they play nice? Like you did to me, right, Maria? What? Mm, don't play dumb, bitch! Dalia, put the gun down. She's not worth it. You... You attacked my home. You put your filth on my network. Do you have any idea the embarrassment I had to endure because of your disgusting performance? I have given everything I am to be here. You think you can take that away from me? My academy was built to save fake yarns like you and that muddy macho you spread your perversions with. But where is she? Does she not approve of you playing with guns? Oh, damn. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Let's go, let's go! What happened? 
happen? Get her the fuck out of here! Fuck. Yep, that's a bad. That's. I mean. Mm. Oh. Hello? Yeah, murdering the bad guy on TV, one of them. We all know that shit ain't gonna fly. Short. Your guy here looks like he's won a lot of fights. Stronger FND units. Yeah, I think. Is that it? I feel like that's that's it for this region. I mean, there's no other mission, but that was, you know, that was the uh, over here. The bad guy was that dead, and Maria, yeah, dead. So it's kind of a very abrupt ending there. But um, all right. So we gotta go meet up with El Tigre. This region should be pretty fun. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be heading on over there in the next part. Where are we heading over there from is the question. Probably probably right here. Is there a... there? A, no, that's a horse. I need to find a... Uh, find somewhere that has... There we go, plane. So we can drop it, get a plane, fly in, maybe blow up a couple places that are... Uh, a, um, you know, airdrops, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, either way, we're going to be making our way over there. And then after that final zone, all we have left is Esperanza, and we were, it's a wrap on the game. So um, given that I haven't really done anything here, I might I might do a stream, which would actually work out. Because, well, no, because I'd be streaming on Sunday. I need to get two more episodes in. So no stream for now. Anyway, closing out here, and I'll catch you all soon with some more.